Hey guys, Pyrus Masquerade here, back with another review. Back at my old review station yet again. Alright, so today's review is going to be hopefully a little bit shorter than my last review. Uh, my reviews have been getting very, very long, so... Especially my vlogs. So, let's hope I don't be... I'm not going to be like, um... Ranting and talking, 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 rambling for several minutes. Uh, so today's review is on the Creo Transformers Created. Dun dun. Creo Transformers. S sideswipe. I almost said swipe swipe. Um, <laughs> anyway, so Creo's, Creo Transformers um, Sideswipe. As you see, robot mode, vehicle mode. As you can see, it says works with leading brands, meaning it works with Lego blocks. Uh, so it says ages 7 through 14. I am 16. But I don't care. So it says it has the Autobot logo right here 31771. That says sideswipe. With a little, little, tiny, little, um, R in a circle. I have no idea what that means. It's probably because I don't, re I don't really remember copyright, uh, symbols. I know copyright is actually a C inside of a circle, but anyway. And it says 220 pieces. And it says 2 and 1. Let me just fix it so my keyboard doesn't screw me up. Alright, so it says... Two in one builds sports car or robot. Should say sports car or robot mode. Sports car mode or robot mode. Ow. So as you see, it comes with two Creons. It comes with his Creon Sideswipe, which I really do think it should have came with a red helmet, but oh well. And that comes with Driver Creon, a blonde Driver Creon. So, yeah. Alright, so on the side it says Creo, and then it has the Hasbro logo. Um, then the Creon figure actual shown actual size. Um, just real quickly, I do want to see, really do want to say that Hasbro logo. On the bottom here it shows Creo Transformers. Barcode. Really, really nice shot of the Creo of the Creon. Um, I, there's no way, there's no easy way to get this in frame. So, oh my God. dun dun. That's not. At all. There's a lot of stuff on that space, but I'm still working on that. All right, so on the top it shows Sideswipe, the Autobot logo. 31771 side swipe Autobot logo. So it shows open here. And it says Creo container and then a Creo container upside down label of uh, wording. Uh, Creo. And then on the back, I can actually scoot this like that. And, uh, and then it's saying Creo Transformers. Create it with Creo construction sets. Build your favorite Transformers characters in vehicle or robot mode. They're getting a little better at that, but vehicle mode, robot mode. Sideswipe, Creon, and then the driver, Creon. Um, Autobot logo, 31771, Sideswipe, Autobot, Combat Trooper. Uh, Prowl, Starscream. Starscream is pretty much the next one I'll be picking up, apparently. Maybe... Unless I am out down at uh, Toys R Us or Walmart. If I'm down at Toys R Us, I'm going to get sent home. <laughs> and then Mirage, which I do have. And um, real quickly, I do want to say, has first things first, Hasbro logo. Then copyright information. Um, the duck. And then create it at creo.com. And then questions, call 1-800-752-9755. Five. All right, so just want to give you guys a little heads up on the box size. So turning it back around, 
Actually, I'm going to take this out of frame real quickly. I'm going to bring in the Bumblebee box. Not sure how well you guys can see that, but... It's a little bit skinnier than the Bumblebee box on both sides, but it's the exact same height. And now for the <laughs> Prowl box. The Prowl box is still skinnier, just to let you guys know. So, yeah. Right, let's see the camera will stop being stupid. All right, let's move this down here. Move that out of frame. Move this out of the frame for a second. Move that out of frame. Bring this back in frame. Okay. Fixing that and sliding this over. All right, so bring it like this. I'm going to slide up my camera for a few, few little seconds. I'm going to slide up my knife. Doobie, 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 doobie. Grab my the little blade part. Very, very shiny. You can see the camera. <laughs> so, as you can see, it does have like um, packaging tape for some reason. When normally it does come with like a little round, a lo little round piece of tape. But as you can see, there is there, as you can may maybe you can see is that there's a little bit of um, packaging. Uh, a little bit of the background has been like peeled off so maybe this was returned or something like that I don't know I hope it wasn't returned I hope it was just they needed to put a new piece of tape on or something but yeah um, so let me zoom right back out I love it how you guys can actually read that while it's zoomed in it's perfect this is the perfect camera So that's that. All right, so taking my little bleed, taking the little blade out. Like I said, very shiny. You can see the camera. All right, so God, Urgh. there we go. And slide. And there we go. Man, that was thick tape. <laughs> Alrighty, so closing that. My little bleedy thingy up. So, yeah. Alright, so bringing the camera back on. Ow. Alrighty, so bringing this little box down. It's like out of frame, as it's like out of frame. Tilt. And I am zoomed out as much as I can. Alright, so. Lifting this up, bringing this up, and um, let me bring this out of frame real quickly. I do need to be able to fold the back of it so it'll actually stand up. So it's that long. Sorry, I need to raise this back up. And tilt this down a little bit more. And that closed. Alright, that's better. And there we go. So as you can see, bag of parts one. Bag of parts two. The little um, side swipe crayon. The driver crayon. And then bag of parts three. Bah. And uh, there's no secrets. Oh, yeah, there is. Derp. And they are underneath the... Oh, my God. Okay, this is going to be painted around. This is a thick instruction booklet. Uh, it's a good thing I use this. I uh, read the instructions online because this is very, very thick. Um... I can guarantee the um, op the the sixty dollar Optimus Prime uh, instruction booklet is going to be a lot thicker because it's just 
it's more money and there's a lot more pieces. There's about 100, there's about 542 pieces for them. So putting these back in the little thingy, uh, whatever it's, this is called, the box. Bringing the box out of frame real quickly. Alright, sorry about that. Alrighty, so the little instruction booklet. Not really little, but um, instruction booklet. Let me just bring this down. I do not know how this, how well this is going to work, but oh well. Let's see. Uh, instructions on how to put together the creons. Starts vehicle mode. Ow! My light's very hot and I hit the bulb. Uh, putting it together is very, very complicated, apparently. Um, I have not yet put it together. I just got it out of the packaging, as you guys saw. Oh, boy. This is going to take forever. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be pleasant. All right, so robot mode ends on page... I mean, vehicle mode ends on page 21, and then robot mode starts on page 22. Continue. Mm, yeah. Move. Uh, page one. Move. No, no. Move. Jeez. Continues. 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 Doobie. 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 And apparently he's gonna look a little bit like a uh, bumblebee in robot mode. Yeah. Maybe he's gonna be a little retool of uh, bumblebee in robot mode. Man, because they got he has pretty much a lot of the parts that the other other creons the creos had. Sorry. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a retool. It's pretty much pretty much just gonna be a retool of the uh, bumblebee. Yeah, uh, this is gonna be a pain in the rear end. Um, so like I did with my other reviews, I will be um. Showing piece by piece what it looks like in the process of that. So, yeah. So, as I'm in 12 minutes already, um, I'm, I'm glad that they brought this back where they show what how many pieces, what pieces there are and how many of them you have. So, very nice big list. Then it shows on the back. If I can turn this the light off. There we go. Prowl, Starscream, and then Mirage. I have these two, hopefully by now they have gone up, uh, by the time this video, this, by the time this review goes up, these should, they better be up, and then Starscream, I hope to get them next time, uh, if not, it will most likely be, be because I am at it, it will be at a different store, so it says questions, call this number, call that number, Creo. Create it at Creo. Then the duck. Then retains instructions for future references. Then copyright information, copyright information. And then Hasbro. And then stuff like that. So when this is built into, you guys know the drill. So once this is built into vehicle mode, I'll be right back. Okay, so. Of course, my watch has to go off at this time. Oh, unbelievable. Anyway, I'm going to work through that. Um, anyway, so, before I get into the vehicle mode of the Sideswipe, I just want to go over the two little Creons it came with. So, it came with the Driver Creon. Hopefully, he'll stand. Stand. Cool. And then, his own Creon. Meaning his creon, the creon of himself. Hopefully that. Oh, cool, that worked. I think my voice cracked. Oh well. Um. The. Side sweat creon is not gonna stand. Hold on. E stunned. Stunned you crazy creon, and he dies. Uh, you know what?
There's that. And there's that. Sorry about that. I mean, he's not just saying no. Are you kidding me? There you go. Alright, so let's just take a little, tiny, tiny, little look-see at these guys. Hopefully my camera will pick it up. Come on. Come on. Focus. 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 No. Oh, well. Alright, so... Here's the little driver Creon. Very, very, very worry look that he's giving us. He's like, ah! It's very, very angry look that he's giving us. Um, same posability for uh, same articulation as all the other Creons. Here he can't go bald, so so. There's that. So, now for his, the Sideswipe Creon. Now, because of the way his helmet clicks onto his head, when you turn the helmet, you actually turn the head too. Huh, would you look at that. Um, he does have his little itty bitty rifle. And he, once he can get that in his hand, he can shoot you! I will shoot you! is going on with this thing there we go um anyway these little creons i really do like the little creons um i w i am going to be putting them in the in the box just so i don't lose these little things because they do look really really cool and once i do get enough shelf space i will be displaying these with their with the uh, massive set they came with, with the, I will match these with the set they came with, so. Yeah, so now on to the vehicle mode of side swipe. Eh, eh, eh. Sorry about that, you guys. Alright, so here is the vehicle mode of side swipe. I almost said side I was almost said sideways, but it is side swipe. So, yeah. So, the stickers, the only one that actually gave me a hard time with the stickers was putting this one in because it wasn't actually cut right when it was put onto the sticker sheet. So, that's why it ripped. And otherwise, the stickers lo don't look that bad. Uh, they're not that that far off, and this one, wait, where is it? This one was pretty much spot on. So, yeah. Uh, as you can see, hopefully you can see. Hold on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Side swipe. So, um, yeah, I really do like it. I did have to put some tape over some of these because they they did they do pop right off. Um, just to give a little comparison for them, I'm gonna move the creons out of the way, and I am going to bring in Prowl. Um, as you can see, side swipe. Oops, sorry. Side swipe is. Bigger than Prowl, and apparently Prowl can give him a ticket. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so now here is Jazz. Yeah, that's an okay reference. Next, Mirage. Um, they're about the exact same length, but Sideswipe got, gets it. Next, oh, this is not, this is not fair, but anyway, Bumblebee. <laughs> little tiny little basic Bumblebee. Poor Bumblebee. And now for the actual... Ah, 
No. Do not. You better not break. It took like four hours to build. The actual. The f actual fair uh, comparison. Bumblebee. Yes, he is in vehicle mode right now. Um. I'm not sure when I have him in robot mode. Robot mode. I'm not sure if he's going to be in robot mode because this takes about three hours to transform back and forth, back and forth, to, I mean, to build back and forth. To take apart and then put back together. That's what I meant to say. But here's the, um, the way they look together and... Yeah, uh, they both do have these plastic-esque um, tires, wheels, I mean, but the, the Bumblebee has the uh, silver trimming on the outside, while Sideways, uh, side, wow, Sideswipe doesn't, so, yeah, um, and Bumblebee has a missile. I'm not sure if it'll actually fire, but just in case it does, I doubt that's going to actually fire, but just to bring him in the shot, I doubt it's actually going to fire, but that failed. Uh, anyway, so, um, I yeah, might as well try while he's in the picture. So, um, more likely, I am going to have to uh, pick up another one of Sideswipe, just so I can keep one in vehicle mode, one in robot mode. Because right now, I have no idea which one... Well, right now, I have no idea which one I'm going to like better. As from the package, um, I th as from the... based on the box art, um, I'm thinking that I'm going to like the... Um, the robot mode better because I haven't used this thing in a while. Um, I'm thinking that I'm gonna like um, the sorry the vehicle. I'm gonna use like the uh, vehicle mode better than the um, than the robot mode. So um, I, I really do like this vehicle mode. Yes, I'm not a big fan of the way the uh, hoods are the hood. I'm not the fan. Of, I'm not a big fan of the way the hoods put on, but um, I can understand it because they are trying to model it after a um, after a certain um, after a certain car. I mean, I was just about to say, but I forgot. I lost train. Lost my train of thought. And he's gonna, the Creo, the Creon's just gonna, go. Anyway, so, um, connect, ah, if they would stop falling over. Hold on. I really, really hope this works. Uh, that's, I don't think that's gonna work, it's not gonna work. There, it worked. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> so. Yeah. So I really, really do like this vehicle mode. And, um. I think I'm going to get, like, a automatic one. But, anyway. Um. An automatic uh, turntable thingy. Mr. Turntable. Whatever it's called. Um. So. Do I like this mode? Yes, I really do. I do like the way the car is made, but I do not like the way the hood is put together. If it's if it's that way on the on the actual car, then maybe, then maybe that'll fix my uh, thoughts on the robot on the vehicle mode. But um, for right now, I might just keep him in robot mode. But once a while. I gotta get into robot mode anyway to film finish the review. But anyway, um, but I might also have to pick up another one just because I really do like this mode. But um, so yeah. So now on to the robot mode of 
Side swipe, not sideways, side swipe. Alright, hey guys, just a quick little update. Um, I've already retaken it apart. I've retaken, I've already taken apart vehicle mode, so it's a little too late to redo that part, but oh well. Uh, here are all the extra parts from when you build it in vehicle mode. Here's all the parts you have left over. Um, so yeah, um, you just have the head, the stand, and the uh, leg pieces and stuff for arms and stuff like that. So yeah, so now I will be right back with robot mode or the process of building robot mode. Yeah. Okay, so after about maybe two to three hours, I was gave myself a little break at two o'clock in the two thirty in the morning, and uh, I gave myself about a half hour break because I was like halfway done with um, its robot mode. But um, I gave myself a little break, so maybe two to three hours, maybe even three and a half. But anyway, sideswipes robot mode is done, and um. Real quickly, on, I do want to make a little comment on his little lower, uh, his lower uh, thigh or uh, his lower foot, whatever it is, because on the instruction booklet it shows that the um, there's a little curve, and that it's pointed oh, the the actual uh, exposed um, peg thing is is pointing away from it. It's pointing in. Pointing, it's pointing in and it's showing that this is reversed but um inside of here it's whoops inside of the instruction booklet it's showing that it's like that so um I'm just like I did with the bumblebee I'm going to tr stick to the way it looks on this because that's just the way it should look so I'm going to reverse those and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is Sideswipe. I uh, fixed the knees. I just mirrored the other one because ugh, it is very, very stressful. Um, if you're going to keep, if you're going to, if you want it to be in robot mode, save these two stickers for last. So it actually, if you're going to mirror it like I did, if you're going to make a, if you want it to look like the one it does on the, the way it does on the um, the instruction manual on the on the box. Wait, wait to put uh, wait to put this, these two stickers on last, because one, the instruction booklet does not even say to put those stickers on. Two, just wait until last to put those on because they are that did throw me off so much. So, yeah. Whew. Um, I'm happy that's fixed because that was very stressful for like the last five minutes. We said five minutes going over that, uh, fixing that. So he will be staying in robot mode at least until next weekend because it is already Sunday night and it is pretty much about it is 5:57 right now. And um, so I, this is gonna be staying this way till next weekend or until I have like actual free time. To and then I'll decide. Maybe tomorrow I'll decide whether or not I want to keep him in vehicle mode or robot mode. Uh, just like the other ones, I'm going to most likely be picking up another one, a duplicate to keep in it, uh, it uh, other mode. So, just once again, saying like I did in my vlog, if that's gone up by now, um, hopefully it's gone up by now. Um, I will not be picking up three of the Optimus. Or two, I might pick up two, just just because I want to keep one in vehicle mode, one in robot mode, and stuff like that. But as soon as I got, I get space in my room, so yeah. All right, so let's just compare him to other um, other Creos and compare his height and um, bulkiness. So okay, sorry, just real quick thing. Um, I did forget to say that he does have a lot of extra pieces after when you take him out of uh, vehicle mode to put him into robot mode you will have a lot of pieces left um, once again uh, it's not really that big of a deal but it's not something that I like because 
God forbid someone gets rid of the boxes or um, misplaces the boxes and you have the pieces in the box, you, mu you might not be able to take it apart and put it in back in the other mode without these pieces or I don't know for a fact if these pieces if it's ex these exact pieces but you might not be able to convert it it will not it doesn't really convert but you m will not be able to build it back into vehicle mode without extra pieces but that's not something I like but it's not something that's gonna like stop me from recommending it so be right back with the comparison okay so just to quickly explain it a little bit better because my camera cut out on the at the uh, at, towards the end of the rant so just want to explain it a little bit it's just because there's extra pieces doesn't mean it's going to just because there's extra pieces that doesn't mean because all the pieces aren't used that that's not going to affect my final rating or my final thoughts on Sideswipe or the or the Creo that it is just because there's extra parts. No, it's not going to affect my rating, my final my final thoughts on it, or it's not going to affect my rating of it in general. Um, I'm going to rate it for what is used, what's needed, and how well it looks, because that's pretty much how it should look. So, yeah. Um, real quickly, going over articulation. I don't know if I've Already gone over it, but I'm gonna go over it again just because I don't know if I've already I've, I've already gone over it. Um, real quickly, uh, the knees, how I think, how I think I how I thought I fixed them. Um, on here, it looks like it's reversed for the these, but if you look on the back, it's actually the way this is. It's showing the way I have it, so apparently. This is the correct way, and the back of the front of the box just doesn't help all that much because his foot is actually bent. So, yeah. All right. So going over, let me move the box out of the way of my uh, review station. Put it over to the side for now. All right. So going over the articulation, I can use two hands because I don't have to hold my camera. Probably gonna have to do that starting in a few days because I need to get a new tripod. But um, right now it's on a table, that's why it's so wobbly. So going over the articulation, first things first, he does have these little arm gauntlet thingies, little protector shield gauntlet things, whatever it is. Um, he does have 360, well, move these little mirror thingies up a little bit. Should just move them up all the way. And he does have 360 arm. And you also might have to move these door flaps back. So he does have three six. Whoops. Does have three? I have to grip on the arm. Three sixty. In, I mean out and in, and then he has elbow. Do to do, and then wrist articulation. All of them go three sixty. And I will be probably trying to trying my best to uh, pose him because I'm probably just going to keep him in uh, robot mode. Um, same with the other arm, but I will go over it again. 360. This, one's a, this joint is actually a, this side's joint is a little bit tighter than the other side. So, all right, so 360 out and up. Out, up and out, down and in, forward, backwards, and 360, elbow, elbow, sorry. This little gauntlet thingy folds forward, do the little hinge thingy, whatever it's called. And then, I'm going to hold them like this, and then wrist. This one's very, very tight. So, yeah. Um, so he does have this huge rifle like blaster thing. So he can't, he does not come with a, um, a missile. So, ah, why? 
it's a Lego, so you can you always have to worry about popping stuff off. Yes, it's not really the, all that much of a toy, sort of like a model kit, but oh well. I'm still going to be playing with it because I'm a kid, no matter what. And, um, yeah, so he does have this little blaster-ish thing. Um, there's no missile that can go in there. There's, did, it did not come with a missile. So, yeah. Um, so also bringing these out. Ah. As you can see, it do, they do move back on their own. Just because that's... As you can see, it is my hands are right here. It does move back on its own for some odd reason. This side will not, because this is like a tighter joint, ball joint thing. So I'm gonna put this all these all the way up, and it's still gonna move back. Oh well. So I got an idea. Pop the arm off. So. I'm going to pop both of the arms off. And then moving these little tab thingies down. Alright, so he does have leg. Ah! I have no idea where that that was. Okay, that's going to be a pain in the derriere. Um, second, there we go. Alright, so it does go like that. It does go out and in. Same thing with this. Can go like that. That'd be very painful, and these things pop off like no other. Like that. Kneecap joint. Like that, and that looks very, very painful. And ankles. Yay. Can go slightly like that, but highly recommend, highly dis. I do not recommend doing that because it does ham hamper his. It does affect the way he stands. Same thing on both. You can go like that. Um, I do want to try a little pose real quickly. It was a. I was able to do that with the uh, bumblebee, but this since this is actually a different. Creo set in general. Okay, this is not gonna work at all. Wait. Oh, oh, oh I think it's gonna work. Hold on. Let me attach his arms back. Mm. Bah. Oh crap. Bah. Hold on, hold on. I've always wanted this. Hold on. Yes, I know I'm going into like seven. I'm probably going into like seven minutes right now. But, um, ow. First off. I do really want to try this. Ah! Don't pop off when you're already on. Put this up. Go like this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Holy crap, that actually does work. Hold on. Let's see if this works. Oh, yes, that worked. Um, I am so surprised that worked. Oh, up, 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 up. Yes, that worked. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, let me just give a um, little comparison to the other Creos. To all the other Creos I have, except for the massive 2499 Bumblebee, because it is still in... Vehicle mode. So. I have no idea which set this is from. So. Yeah. Because he's still in vehicle mode. So. Yeah. So. Bringing in all of the other Creos. Let me just stand them up real quickly. And uh, then I'll do a little comparison. Okay, so now that Sideswipe is now standing up straight, let's do a little comparison time. So, yes, because my 
Uh, $24.99 Bumblebee is not in robot mode, it is in vehicle mode. I will not be comparing him to the height that is Sideswipe, but I will do this right now. He's the exact same height of, he's the exact same length of the length of Camaro mode of Bumblebee, of the $24.99 Bumblebee. So, because if my voice gets a little, um, farther away because I moved away from the camera, so, excuse me, sorry about that. So, first things first, bringing in the, comparing it with the basic Optimus. Yeah, um, he shrunk, he shrunk, uh, basic Optimus is now a midget compared to Sideswipe. So now, <laughs> poor Bumblebee. Poor basic Bumblebee, he's smaller. So, yeah. Bring these two over the side. Um, another comparison. Um, here's Jazz. Yeah, um, I'll get to the scale in a minute. I'll get to the reason why these are not to scale. I'll get to that in a minute. So, off to the side. And here is Mirage standing next to um, Sideswipe. Yeah, um. No comment. Sideswipe is taller than Mirage. I'm not a big Transformers fan, but I really do think. I'm not a big Transformers watcher, because I've only seen the movies, and I used to watch Transformers. And the only thing that the thing that's pretty much got me back into Transformers was the movies. So, and now for bringing in Prowl, a little bit better with the scale. All right, so let me just go over the um, the scaling wise, the scaling of the. Um, let me go over my little uh, tiny little theory on the scaling wise. On the scaling proportions stuff. Just give me a second. Okay, now that they're all in frame and on. There, so now no one can yell at me saying, Oh, why didn't you have the 2499 Bumblebee, the other Bumblebee, the advanced Bumblebee in there? Now he's in there. Um, okay, now that he's in full frame. Alright, so my theory on why. They, not all of them are in scale. I'm thinking the the scale wise, it has to do with the price of the Creos. So like the the ten dollar uh, Creos, meaning these two, are in perfect scale, like the way they should be in the um, the show, or however they are, however they come into play. And then the what is it? A thirteen, thirteen, um, the thirteen ninety nine ones, which is the Jazz and the Mirage. I'm thinking that's how the that's why they're in the actual scale, and then the twenty dollar one, that's its own little scale. So, yeah, and then the twenty four ninety nine ones are in scale with the other twenty four ninety nine ones, which are the Bumblebee and then this Bumblebee, and then the Sideswipe. Um, so, and then the $60 one will be in the $60, the $30, the other ones that are above these will be in scale with the $24.99, the $24.99 ones, the $20 ones, and apparently sort of the $13 ones because these two have repeats. These don't. So. These two have reissues. The Optimus is the other, the, to scale with these uh, ones, this, the actual Optimus is 60 bucks. This Bumblebee is right here, $24.99 one. There's only one other one, and it is this, there's only one other Bumblebee Cree, there's only one more, blah, 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 blah. there's only one other Creo Bumblebee, and that is this one, other than this. 
unless they release another one in the second, unless they release a $60 Bumblebee in like a, uh, ne the next wave of Creo, if they make another wave of Creo, then these, there's only two of these and two of the Optimus. So that's how my theory is going with the scaling wise. So my video is probably very, very long and very, very lengthy. So yeah, um, considering the time and I kind of do want to get to bed and I want to make sure I, I finish my uh, computer and finishes installing the updates for with the Kaspersky and stuff like that. So yeah. So until next time or until a vlog or until a new Creo review or until a new review in general, I am Pyrus Ma until a new video in general, I am Pyrus Masquerade saying later days. And don't forget to check out Pop Culture Network, Mandalorian 30, Sound Out 12, Mitch Santana, Mitch Santona, sorry, I'm still getting used to saying it that way. And, um, DX Robots Wheelchair 21, Darkon 633, um, Mitch Santona, got it right that time. I know it's edited twice, but I had to get it right. Sound at 12, or I said it. Mandalorian 30, PopCultureNetwork.com, PopCultureNetwork on YouTube. Get that right. And for right now, that's all there is. And Exploding Shark. Can't forget Sharky. So until next time, I'm Pirates Masquerade saying later days.